So another very interesting problem here and what's given is that there's a parachutist who's accelerating down with acceleration A. And let me label all the information as I describe the problem to you. So the acceleration of the parachutist in the downward direction is A. We also have air resistance on the parachute which is acting in upward direction and that's FA. And what's also given is the mass of the parachute as small m and that of the parachutist as capital M. Now given this information, what the problem is asking us to find is FA. So we have to express FA in terms of m, m and acceleration. So we'll go ahead and apply Newton's second law of motion, but we'll do it a little differently over here as in we'll assume the parachute and the parachutist as a composite system. So if we do that, let's say this box represents the parachute and this is the parachutist. So this is one composite body, let's say. And let's now label all the forces acting on the composite system of parachute and the parachutist. So we have force FA acting in upward direction and we have force MG acting in downward direction. And this time around, the force MG would be actually sum of M and M into G because we're considering the composite system. So if this is the case, then we can say that the net force acting on the system is FA, which is acting in upward direction. And we're taking the notation where all vectors pointing in upward direction are positive and all vectors acting in downward direction are negative. So FA is in upward direction, so we take it as positive and the force acting in the downward direction M plus M into G would be taken as negative. And this net force should equal to the product of mass into the acceleration and the acceleration is in downward direction so we will take it as negative. So if we solve for Fa from this equation what we will get is Fa is equal to M plus M into G minus A. Now the second part of the problem is what is the force on the parachute due to the person? Rather, what is the pull created by the person on the parachute? So what we'll do over here is we'll again draw a free body diagram, but this time around we'll make that for just the parachute. So if this is a parachute, then we can say the forces acting on the parachute are Again, Fa acting in upward direction, Mg acting in downward direction, and this time around Mg would be simply M into G because we are making free body diagram of the parachute only. And let's say the pull due to the person is, let us say, Fp. So if these are the forces acting on the parachute, we can write Newton's second law of motion in its equation form as Fa acting in upward direction. So we take it as positive minus Mg acting in downward direction minus force due to the person on the parachute again in downward direction. And this should equal minus M into A because acceleration again is in downward direction. Now if we do derivation of Fp from this equation, what we'll get is F P is equal to F A plus M into A minus G. And we've already calculated for F A. So if you substitute F A over here, you can find the value of F P. So F P is the force on the parachute due to the person.